3D Coat version 3.1 has a new hide tool, and I know what you're saying, but there's already a hide tool. Well, that tool's been renamed Cell Hide, and what that one does is still the same. It will hide cells of voxels instead of individual voxels. Let's go ahead and unhide that. The new hide tool will actually work more like a sculpting tool. So if we make a stroke in here, you'll see it looks like it's subtracting volume. It's not actually subtracting the volume, it's just hiding the volume. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, it's great for creating seams or other hard surface objects. Now, if we go up here to voxels, separate hidden part, we now have that other voxel, and if you look at the vox tree here, we now have that portion completely on its own layer. And it's also been slightly smoothed so that the areas where they were once connected are a little more rounded so there's a nice seam around there and if you look a little closer you can see that now this hide tool also works with the selection methods such as drag rectangle, draw with regular area and so on let's demonstrate such here let's select this cylinder object now we're just going to select drag rectangle and again let's select uh, the hide tool click and drag around this area here and it will of course hide that but now if we go up to voxels separate hidden part we now have a nice hard surface object with a very good looking seam